Choosing the right stocks for your portfolio takes time, patience, and effort. You need to understand and identify your investment goals as well as life goals. While the plans you have for retirement, for example, might change with time, you need to have an idea of why you're investing and what you want to invest in. You should understand the level of risk you're comfortable with and choose companies you know well and are willing to hold for at least five years in your portfolio. You should also make sure you're putting cash into quality businesses that have durable competitive advantages and compelling financials or a path to stable financial growth. Apple Apple minus 0.57% is a name that needs no introduction and while growth rates may not be what they were several years ago, given the ongoing changes in discretionary consumer spending, this is a business that continues to pack a powerful punch in a wide range of market environments. Not only does the company control an incredible 25% share of the smartphone market more than any other competitor, but it also just reported another quarter of record business milestones. As of Apple's fiscal 2020 for first quarter, ended December 30, 2023, had more than 2.2 billion active devices installed for customers worldwide. That figure represented a new record for the business. Apple's net sales and profits in the first quarter were driven primarily by iPhone sales and a new sales milestone in the company's services segment. Mercadolabra Melli 1.11% may not be as familiar to some investors as companies like Amazon, Shopify, or Etsy. However, this e-commerce giant has an impressive lineup of businesses and the balance sheet to match. The company is the largest e-commerce entity and most visited online marketplace in Latin America. Mercadolabri's online platform habitually receives about half a billion visitors per month and accounts for more than one-fifth of all retail sales that occur in region. The Latin American e-commerce market has historically been very underpenetrated, primarily due to varying degrees of technological connectivity throughout the region and troublesome logistics options. However, the region is quickly catching up to the advent of e-commerce. The total addressable market opportunity is booming as adoption of online retail explodes and cross-border sales rise from merchants in the region. For example, one Morgan Stanley study estimated that the Latin American e-commerce market would hit a valuation of $200 billion by 2025.